In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22 from a spread formation, giving you kind of the nuts and bolts of one of my favorite plays in the game. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. And if you would like to get my entire gun spread air raid offensive ebook kind of based around a lot of the core tenets of the air raid offense and how you can apply them into the Madden game, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon for only $10. You'll be able to sign up for that. It'll get you access to all of my Madden uh, 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we also have several exclusive updates and pro tips over there that you won't find here on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Again, $10 will get you access to everything, including my spread air raid offense, which we're going to be previewing in this video. Now, the concept that we're going to be talking about today is the mesh post concept. It's one of my favorite plays um, in the entire game. And the reason why is because it's actually a very versatile play. And there's a lot of things that we can do with it to attack the meta. And the meta this year has been, you know, either man to man coverage, heavy a dosage of man to man, which this play is really good at, or a double Mabel zone drop defense so i've got kind of the meta 335 wide defense up here and i like to create this concept out of the play curl wheel if you want to you can run just the basic mesh play right here but i personally prefer the play curl wheel and again i'm in the arizona cardinals offensive playbook now from a setup perspective uh, i want to first start teaching this um, and this is really truly a man-to-man -man concept if you will um, it's really designed to be effective against man-to-man -man. and so we're going to show you first and foremost how to use it to beat man-to-man -man. so real simple setup here we're going to drag the outside receiver we're going to drag the um, slot receiver on the right and we're going to drag the outside receiver on the left and that's going to create that double mesh concept coming across the formation and then lastly we're going to put the running back on a wheel now you don't have to put the running back on a wheel you can if you want to put the running back on an out you can leave them on that little swing pattern i like the wheel um, because it's going to help me give me a man and zone read um, on the right side so the snap of the ball you'll see right here that these double drags are really effective at beating man-to-man -man coverage now another thing that i want to highlight about this is a lot of people like to shade their coverage underneath whenever they're running man-to-man -man this year this wheel route on the left side um, if you get a good release a lot of times you'll get this little rub and you'll see that this wheel route basically will get over the top of that slot defender as you can see right there so if they're not if there's not a safety over the top this gives you a vertical route as well as a way to pull flat zones for your uh, for your route so again I've got two purples here and then I've got a middle rub uh, safety and what you'll notice is again these purples will get pulled outside of the outside so now I can throw this inside and as you can see it's going to force them to have to really kind of um, adjust their man to man another thing that is really really good about this formation in terms of how it can attack a man coverage is they can't really jam the receiver here Gronkowski there's not really a good coverage in the game for them to be able to jam him and so again, you'll get a lot of this. You'll get some man switching. We love the low ball wheel route. Pretty much every route on this play literally will beat man-to-man -man coverage. Um, the one thing, like if they're, and again, you're gonna force them to have these underneath zones. Now, the other thing that I wanna talk about real quickly here is, let's say their user um, has to has to run with, you know, run to the outside, or, you know, let's say they, they kind of come underneath with their user uh, to get underneath the defense. What you're gonna see with this is this post route is really the best route on this play. And it's the best man beating route for sure. So you'll see here, you can throw this hard left side pass lead. When you throw that, you're gonna get that nice aggressive catch um, to be able to beat this coverage. So you can throw it early or late as well. I'll show you the early window. So let's say for example, that at the snap of the ball, this guy, um, you know, let's say they man up the running back with this backside guy, and then they run two purples here. And then now what they're gonna do is their user is going to user the immediate drag to Gronkowski. So he's going to kind of run over into this general area of the field. 
what you're gonna be able to do. You look right, okay, no. I got that right on the cut for a nice aggressive catch. And this this literally is my probably my favorite play in the game um, for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the next thing that I wanna go over with you is a man or a, a, a double Mabel uh, zone defense, which is very popular this year. And what we're gonna wanna make sure that we accomplish on this is we've gotta understand um, that the, the way that you beat zone is through using these low ball wheels and also using these wheels to pull the zones outside to open up the middle of the field. So what you'll see here is on the on the right, I can low ball that running back wheel every single time against zone coverage, and it will every single time beat that. They have to play man to man on the running back to stop that wheel route. So please keep that in mind. Their user is either gonna have to come over here or they're gonna have to manually put somebody in man coverage on the running back. If they do that, that by very nature means that they can't do other things. So let's say that they man this guy up on the running back, for example, okay? What you're gonna see now, and this is how the concept is so good against everything. Now what you'll see here is this backside drag is gonna clear right over here. Now, another thing that's really important about this concept is that they have to make a decision, who are they going to use her? And this has been a key of any effective offense in Madden every single year. So in this formation, with the way this concept's gonna work, they're gonna have to use her, the circle receiver, or they're going to have to use her the right side drag, okay? So what we can do with this, let's say they choose to use her this right side drag route, because again, your running back route is gonna pull that purple, um, this post can be thrown. So they're going to be over here. See how I can throw that post uh, right in there. And of course, Brady can't, for whatever reason, decides he's not going to throw it. Now he's going to scramble and get negative two yards. And Brady's just going to do his own thing. But <laughs> what you'll see here is if they stay underneath, there's a window to throw this ball to your, um, because of this wheel route, he's going to pull deep zones and flat zones outside. So you'll see right here, I can kind of throw this right there and aggressive catch that as you can see. So that is another really important route in this formation. Now I will say that if they're if they're running, if you are kind of getting um, a vibe that they're probably gonna be in the zone coverage, one of my favorite adjustments to this play is um, to hitch the left side, whoops, to hitch the left side receiver Godwin, put the outside receiver on a smart routed out or just a regular out if you want to. And then on the left side, we're going to flat Gronkowski and wheel the running back. And this is just a better way of the same basic principle to beat zone coverage. And you'll see here the wheels wide open, that's open once he crosses the safety's face. And so the user now, again, is in this position where he has to make a decision of who he's gonna be able to guard. This purple zone over here, because they're double mabling, the double mabel will stop the post route deep in the play, but it's going to leave other things open, okay? And that's again, why if, you, if you're if you getting a double mabel, this right here is a really good setup because there's no yellows on the field. So you'll see here, I can hit my hitch right here on the right, um, you know, and, and, and we can kind of go about it that way. Another thing that you can do um, if, you're, if you're getting this is you can, you know, go ahead and take this guy on the backside and hitch him. And then on the left side here, we can just run Godwin on his, we can either leave him on his route or run him on this route right here. And the reason that, the, again, this is a little bit more zone specific. It's kind of a, a variation of mesh because you're still getting the same basic, you know, you're still getting the same place. But now they have to have a yellow zone to guard it. So you see here now your hitch over there is wide open. Your hitch on the right is wide open, you know, and, and, and you can see how hard it is to use her. Um, this is another reason why, though, I really think that the wheel route is very valuable this year for beating zone. So for running our standard um, our standard concept we talked about in the beginning, make sure that if they're in zone, you take advantage of that throw right there. Because now what they have to do is their user has to go over there. And if their user has to go over there at the snap of the ball, 
to guard the running back, guess what that's going to leave open over the middle of the field? Well, now your post, when he cuts inside, pass lead inside, aggressive catch it, and as you can see, he's wide open. This is my favorite play in the game. I truly believe that this is probably one of the most unstoppable plays in Madden, and it's away from the air raid concept that we can still utilize the horizontal pulls of those flat routes to also combine them with vertical pulls because they are turning upfield and running the wheels. You got the double drags, and then you got that post to really attack every level and every um, space on the field that the defense is going to cover. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I want to encourage you if you want to get my full air raid offensive ebook, there's a link in the description to my Patreon. $10 is going to unlock all 28 of my offensive and defensive guides that I have released this season, including the Air Raid Offensive Ebook. And so if you would like to pick that up, head on down to the description of the video and make sure that you click on that Patreon link.